Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and let's take a quick look at how the Unity shot that I created around the campfires where my demons hide was made. So the scene that it's all based in is actually um, from the Asset Store, and I actually like this scene quite a lot. Um, it's actually called Rocky Hills Environment, and I chose it because I've used it in a couple of other things, and I quite like how it's made. There is a free version, and there is also a paid version. Obviously, the paid version is there's a lot more to it. It's there's way more to the package. Um, just kind of heads up here. I've had no input from uh, the creator of this. I've chosen to use this on my own. There is no um, kind of secret behind this or anything. Um, it's all my own. Like belief here. So the majority of the scene is built in that. So I've added a couple of extra things, a couple of extra effects, a uh, campfire, whatever else, because they aren't included in the actual uh, scene. A uh, couple of uh, what appear to be monsters, as it were. And yeah, so the basic idea is that the monsters walk around this campfire and there's a couple hanging around in the grass. There's some effects. And as always, it's done basically through a nice quick script, which is a sequence. And now a lot of people ask, why don't I use um, various plugins and add-ons? Um, you know which ones I mean. Uh, if not, ask in the comments. I'm sure people will tell you what I'm referring to. I don't actually like these things. I like to be in total control of everything I'm doing. I feel using my own animations just uh, kind of helps me a lot more because I enjoy it. So the animation for this camera, if I press play and go to the scene view when it's actually rendering, you'll see what I mean. So here we are, here's our monster, demon, whatever, walking around the campfire. And you'll see the camera, the whole thing is just one long animation. If I go to the game view, you can see how it looks. Again, that's just all the animation that it's working on. It pulls around the campfire, and obviously there is post-processing using uh, use going on here. I'm a big fan of Bloom, I have to be honest. I love Bloom everywhere, but obviously overdoing it sometimes can be a little silly, and Bloom isn't for everybody. So yeah, at the end, then we just zoom back into the cave, and then that's where the fade-out occurs. Uh, the monster or demon walking around a campfire is nothing more than just um, a cube rotating. So if I turn, if I press play again, and you'll see here, if I go to scene view, this is just a cube rotating. Attached to the cube is the demon right here, just constantly playing his walk animation. So everything is timed nicely as well so the demon looks like he's walking real time and the footsteps also play real time as well and that's just basically a footstep sound that's all that is uh, the fire is obviously just a fire noise just constantly playing so you don't need to worry about that and the fin zoom here is that little whistly noise you hear as we go into the cave at the end so the whole thing is done via a sequence in C sharp scripting and honestly, that's all there is to it. It's amazing how little time it actually took me to create all of this. I think the longest of what took me the longest to create in this particular scene was um, probably the campfire, just kind of getting that in and working the um, post processing just enough to give it what looks like a little bit too much bloom because, like I said, I love bloom. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, Check out my channel, you'll, you'll see what I mean by this Unity short and how it looks. So you can see little particle effects, so you can see smoke uh, a little bit here. But yeah, around the campfire is where my demons hide. And that's the whole idea. So guys, I hope that uh, little Unity short was useful. And honestly, guys, I would challenge you to try and make these little Unity shorts. Each one of these have been around 40 seconds long. And I've got to say, it's a lot of fun just to create a short 40 second uh, animated sequence in Unity and just see what you can do. So if you fancy trying to do that, please do and let me see. I would absolutely love to see what you've created. So guys, thank you very much for watching.